Hi guys and welcome back to another art haul video. I've bought and received so many new and exciting supplies in the last couple of months or so. Um, so many that there will be another haul video I believe in the near future. But today I'm showing you supplies that I've bought from Amazon and um, from some local shops nearby. And also I'll tell you why I bought them, as well as some that I've received as birthday gifts. So starting off, we have a set of Pentel oil pastels that I received as a birthday gift. And the person who gave me these must have read my mind because I've been curious about oil pastels for a little while now. And this set is beautiful and it comes with 50 different colours. Um, actually, I think it comes with 49 and two whites. But I'm excited to see what types of textures I can achieve with them. And next up we have a product that you might have already seen me use, which are the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pens. I've already done a review on these pens which I'll link in the cards and description box. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous water-based pens and the reason why I bought them was because I was looking for some brush type pens to use in my sketchbook and these really jumped out at me um, because they are matched with the uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos in terms of colour. And carrying on with the Faber-Castell theme here, we have something very special indeed. This is the 120 set of Polychromos colour pencils, and I bought these because of last year I bought the 60 set and straight away I fell in love, but I couldn't help but feel like I was missing some crucial colours, particularly light and dark colours, so I ended up having to buy the full set and I just can't stop touching them and rolling them and smelling them. Um, if there are any other colour pencil collectors out there, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Something a little less exciting next, but quite useful, and these are some circle stencils. Um, I bought these because I was getting frustrated with having to rummage around my apartment trying to find something round and about the right size for tracing around, so I decided to invest in a couple of these stencils and they were fairly inexpensive, and I chose these rather than a compass set because of a compass set um, has a point that could damage the paper. Next up we have some ink pads that I bought online from Panduro Hobby. Usually I don't buy from this company because I find them to be quite expensive compared to other online shops, but they were having some discounts on these ink pads so I thought they would be worthwhile to pick up. And you might have already seen me use these um, ink pads if you saw a tutorial video that I uploaded a few weeks back on how to carve your own stamps and make your own uh, greetings cards. So I bought a few different varieties here. I bought um, Brilliance and Versicolor by the brand Sukaneko, I think it's called, and the other type is by Ingvil Bulmer. The next couple of products are, again, very thoughtful birthday gifts, which are a lovely sketchbook and a mechanical pencil to go with it. And the mechanical pencil looks like a standard non-mechanical pencil, which I thought was a funny little touch. The sketchbook has both white and tan paper in it, which I am super excited about, and I'm also a fan of this hardcover and rounded corners. And this kind of um, set looks perfect for simple pencil studies. Something else that I bought from Amazon was this set of Frisk Trace Down Paper, which is coloured transfer paper, which I thought might be really convenient, especially for pet portraits and transferring an image onto my paper. And I haven't used this uh, material before, so I'm keen to try it out. And another product that I'm so excited to start using, these are pastel mat pads, and I managed to spend a small fortune on these pads. Um, in total, the range comes in 14 different colours, and of course I just couldn't pick which colour selection I wanted, so I ended up buying the lot. The paper itself is quite expensive, it's about £20 for each pad, and each pad only contains 12 sheets of roughly A4 paper, but from what I can tell, it's well worth the money. The surface is like very fine grit sandpaper, meaning that it sort of grips pigment incredibly well, and I've seen beautiful results made with it using pastels and colour pencils by other artists, and I've also heard that uh, pastel dust is almost reduced entirely with this paper, which is one of the reasons why I was afraid of trying out pastels. So maybe with this paper I can get over one of my art fears. 
Next up is something a little bit less arty, and it's a bunch of washi tape that I bought from one of my favourite local shops, which is the Danish shop Sørstrøm These were very affordable, and I've been wanting to try the washi tape challenge, um, and that's a challenge where you create a collage out of this kind of patterned tape. I can't imagine that I'll get through all the tape just from a collage, so I also thought that it would be useful for decorating cards and packaging up commissions. And here I have a small selection of pens that I picked up from Staples whilst they were on offer. I don't intend on using these for polished pieces of artwork, but I thought they'd be nice for note taking and sketchbook studies. Most of these are gel pens, so aren't waterproof, uh, but I also have a couple of these brush-tipped Posca pens, which I thought would be quite interesting to use. Here are some new fine liners I bought, which are a six set of Stapler pigment liners, and I've been after these pens for almost an entire year now, after I found out that the fine liners I own are running out and aren't waterproof, and as if it was intended by fate, the day that I went into the shop to buy them, they were on offer. And finally, I was once again suckered in with a discount. I bought these three moleskin watercolour journals from a local bookshop, and they were marked down as half price, so I just knew that I had to buy them because I've seen a lot of people use these and have really enjoyed them. I think there's about 70-something pages per um, sketchbook here, so no doubt it'll take me some time to get through them all. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick little bonus video. I'll link to the products in the description box uh, below where possible, and let me know if there are any products that you'd be excited to see me use or do a review type video on in the near future, but remember that I can't do tutorials straight away on materials that are brand new to me though. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more challenges, reviews, art tutorials and art advice videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you have a lovely week!